The Miracle Perspective, showing you the person you are meant to be. It's finished. It's the time of the day. Please don't be late. Call your friends, I'll call my friend. Let's go and be changed. TMP is doing the most. TMP is doing the most. It's the time of the day. Because my school was away in a different province from my hometown, every weekend when I went home, I would stock up sweets and lollipops to take home and sell to my friends and people around. Well, that business went for a very short while and it died. It didn't go too far. But then later, I was introduced to this other business called the Flash Mobile. I'm sure maybe some of you in South Africa might know. Flash Mobile is an electricity and airtime selling business where they give you a machine, where you buy a machine and you can just sell airtime at an instant and give them the receipt and they have their prepaid. I went on with that for a little while. Just like the sweet business, it also died. As time went on, my dad wanting so hard to instill the spirit of risk taking in me. He was introduced to this other gold coin business where you invest your money into this gold coins. I think the business was called Gold Pride and Time, if I'm not mistaken. And when you put your money in that business, you would get a position in the whole network and you would start recruiting people. My dad opened a position for me and he invested for me. I started recruiting. We recruited so many people. Turns out the business was a pyramid scheme. It died. Our money went. We lost our money. But time went on. My dad being resilient and a risk taker. He was introduced again to another business of investing. Which worked similarly like the gold prime time business. And he decided to get in. And he put me in it again. I would start recruiting people, got people into the business. It was not so long after that, that we realized that the business had shut down because that as well was a pyramid scheme. So we lost again. At this point, we should have learned our lesson. But I think at that time I had, my dad had done a very good job to instill the risk taking spirit in me and to just take chances. I think it was in 2013 when I was doing my second year in varsity where this other friend of mine introduced me to Stock Market College. Stock Market College teaches you how to trade and how to invest your money in the stock market. But not only that, it also has a network marketing component to it, which I did not understand very clearly at the time. And when we got there, we went to one of their presentations where this other rich guy who was presenting was just telling us of how great his experience has been and he became a millionaire in one year. I'm like, what? And he was showing us all the places that he had visited as incentives of being a very active member of the company. And he was getting many people in the business. I was like, you know what? At that time, I was already looking at myself and seeing myself as a school dropout because I would be a millionaire in a year. <laughs> well, I joined immediately after that training, that presentation. And it was not cheap at the time, but because I was saving up a lot of money in my first year, I had some enough money to join the business. And I think it was 3,000 Rand, the joining fee at that time. And then it would, I would get a package to just get me started to open my trading accounts and to get a broker and to also start with the education. But together with that, I got the opportunity to treat it as a business where I could recruit people. And I was like, this is easy. I will recruit people. I know many people. So I joined it. But in my joining, there was also a monthly subscription fee for that college, which was about approximately 1,000 Rand, more than 1,000 Rand. And my phone is ringing, but I will get back to it. It was more than 1,000 Rand as a subscri monthly subscription that we had to pay. 
I was like, this is easy because I'm going to recruit people and the commission was great. Well, I joined. I went on. It didn't go that far. I remember when I started, I was very excited. I had about 5,000 Rand. And I went to my sister and I borrowed another 5,000 Rand to make it 10,000. So it can be a good lump sum to start my trading account with the broker. So I'm just going to dump my 10,000 Rand and I'm going to give it to the broker. He will do the job for me and I will just become rich. <laughs> it didn't take three months. All my money was gone with the stock market. How do you? I would always communicate with the broker. What's happening? And I look at the graph. The graph is going down. I'm losing money all the time. And that was my loss. But unfortunately, I had subscribed to a monthly subscription. I still had to pay the 1000 and something every month for a year. I remember I was so stressed. Mind you, I'm still a second year student at the university. Now I'm stressing because the money I'm getting at home is not enough. And I was getting, I was being funded as well by the university. So all that money went to paying this stock market colleague. Well, I decided to go and cancel the subscription. But unfortunately, that didn't become successful because the contract did not allow for that to happen. So I had to finish the whole subscription for the year. It was a rough year, I'm going to tell you that. But I managed to finish that year ended. And at this time, definitely I should have learned my lesson, right? Well, that didn't happen with me. Later on, I was walking in town here in Pretoria. And as I was walking, I think it was around 2014, 15, somewhere there. I was just walking in town and I saw a group of people walking in one direction. They were flocking in this one direction as if there's an event going on. So I was wondering, I was very curious. I'm like, let me follow these people and see where they're going. And as I followed them into this other building, I started seeing posters and flyers and those banners outside. They're like, make money. I'm like, make money. I'm going. When I get there, I get to the guy standing by the door. What's happening here? He's like, well, you can just come in. No problem. I went in and I sat in. Nobody invited me, but I just saw people going there and I was interested. This presenter guy, just like the one that made me join the other thing, he is very rich. He showed me of all the places that he went to and all of the other presenters and the testimonials. They were just like, we are making it. We are so rich. It's amazing. We get free cars. We get free trips all over the world. I'm like, you know what? I'm sold. How do I get in? And that business was IFA. And I decided to join IFA that day. They were like, yeah, you can get this. In a year, you can become rich. You can go to all these places and you can drop out because you want to drop out, right? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, okay, you can. If you work hard, I'm like, what's the work? They're like, recruit people. I'm like, no problem. I joined it. Went on. I lost the momentum. Lost the motivation. Didn't go far with it as well. Now I'm left with the monthly payment because it comes with a monthly subscription that you have to pay every month towards your policy. So it comes with a policy that you pay every month. And I paid that policy for about two years. And I decided, you know what? I can't. I need to get out of this thing. And when I, get, I got out, I got a few money that I was saving up. Just some money back. And I was like, you know what? I'm done with this joining things. I have learned my lesson. I'm not going to do it anymore. Tired. Good. Life went on. Fast forward to about, I think it was 2017, 2018. I was introduced, my dad again was introduced to this other health products business by the name of Greenworld. He took me to Greenworld because I was having some health issues. Got to Greenworld, the product was so amazing, I improved, my health improved. I'm like, wow, I want to know more about this. Went back to the presentation, same story, these people were all making it, it was amazing. But now, like, I had made a decision not to join these things anymore. What am I going to do now? Um, I'm like, you know what? The difference here is that you are not just taking people's monies. You are actually giving people health. 
I'm like, that's a good thing, right? It's a virtuous thing. Now I'm going to join this because of the health part. And I joined Greenwald as a network marketer again. And I started pushing it. I pushed it, I pushed it, I pushed it. It was amazing. No regrets, no regrets. But along the way, I lost the momentum. And didn't go far. But I'm happy to say one very successful story from Greenwald is that I built a huge network in Mozambique. One network that's still alive even today, and it's amazing. I met this lady, she took it very seriously. I taught her, and she became a superstar. Now she's got a huge flourishing business in Mozambique. And I even went to Mozambique a couple of times to just do the trainings and presentations that side. So it was successful in that regard, and I was very happy. But the motivation died, and I moved to another business again, another network marketing business. But now this one had to do with money and gold. I joined it, amazing, no regrets. But once again, I lost the motivation along the way. I did make a lot of money through the recruits and the investment itself, but I lost the motivation. Why am I telling you all of this? And by the way, in my university, everything was happening during my university life, if you realize. Everything of this joinings and stuff was happening during my university life. In my university life as well, I also had two jobs while I was at the university, working at the university. I also was enrolled in other extramural activities like societies. I was part of a cultural ensemble. I was very active, right? And all of these things were happening. Whenever an opportunity rose, I was like, yes, I'm going to do it. Another opportunity, I'm going to, yes, I'm going to do it. So my CV became so huge while I was still in university and my experience became so huge as well because I learned a lot of diverse things, right? And the reason I'm telling you this is because you need to start with yeses and end with noes. What does that mean? When I eventually got into what I'm doing today, which is this YouTube thing, and building my, the Miracle Perspective as a company, and now establishing myself as a proper business, and becoming a person that I think, yes, I'm doing what I'm created to do, I started cutting off some of the things that I was doing. Most of the things that I was doing, I started cutting them off. As a matter of fact, I cut all of my network marketing businesses when I started doing this that I'm doing currently. And my only understanding and justification to that is I had found my purpose. Because right now I'm operating in the person that I am created to be. Therefore, I could say no to the opportunities. I could say no to a job. I could say no to network marketing stuff. I could say no to other opportunities that are seeming like they are pulling me away from my purpose. Because I finally got that thing that I was looking for. And my realization is that in all of these other things that I was doing all my life, they were shaping me to becoming the person that I am today. And that was my pursuit of finding the person that I'm created to be. And all of those experiences I told you about, I do not regret even a single of them because all of them taught me something that I am definitely using today one way or the other, including my education, including my degree and my honors degree and my master's. All of those things come together into forming this person that you see today standing here. And my appeal to you today is if you feel like you haven't found yourself yet, you haven't found what you are born to do, you haven't found what you're created to do, don't stop saying yes. Whenever an opportunity comes to you, take it. Yes, do it. Another one comes, yes, do it. Another one comes, yes, do it. But what if I fail? Doesn't matter. Do it. You will never know what it is that you are pulled towards until you do it. So do whatever that comes to you and present itself to you until you get to that point where you say, you know what, I am living within my potential and I'm in the direction of actually pursuing my potential. But until then, 
do not say no to any opportunity. Because saying no to your opportunity, you're saying no to the potential of becoming a person that you are meant to be. So this is my story to inspire you to say, as much as I've been a busy man, it almost seemed like I have no direction with how I was approaching life. Even right now, some of the things I do, still a lot. But compared to what I've been doing, I feel like I'm in a position where at least I'm I'm in the direction of getting to where I'm designed to be. And that's when I can say no to other things that are coming in my direction. No to other things that are coming in my direction because I feel like they're not in line with what I am designed to be. But until then, start with all the yeses. Say yes to all the opportunities. If you enjoy the content, like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Let me hear your thoughts. It would be very interesting to hear your stories and to hear what you are doing. What are you saying yeses to? What are you saying noes to? Were you a person who always said no to things, but you don't really know yourself? Well, I don't think that's a good way to go about it. Start with yeses and with the noes. Remember, if you're interested in becoming a better version of yourself, building up your public speaking abilities, regaining and boosting your self-confidence and self-belief, and becoming a person that you are meant to be through improving your professional and personal life, being able to communicate your value to your people, people around you, including employers, and people that you want to buy your stuff. Join the TMP Academy through the link on the description link below, and I will see you on the other side. Looking forward to working with you. It's finished. <laughs> The Miracle Perspective, showing you the person you are meant to be. It's finished.